two videos, we're going to turn this into this. So let's get started. Today was a red letter day. We got some stuff from SNG, SNG Barrett, which are the components to rebuild this carrier. The carrier is um, kind of like the outer wheel bearings on a domestic car or axle. I don't know. Anyway, the tire fits on here. There's a, well, um, never mind. We'll, we'll get to that. Anyway, this is a carrier and we are going to be putting these races in and this is where it attaches to the fulcrum arm so we'll be putting these we'll be putting these bearings in well if nothing else I'll get the races because it is kind of late right now it's about 10 o'clock at night um, no this is not any kind of candy it's the grease seals these are the caps that goes over it all right these are um, race installers and they're tapered. I got this at um, Harvard Fraught and um, this is a 76 millimeter and it actually fits there quite nice and it has a it has a handle that screws on and I think I picked this I got a set of them and they were really cheap they were like I had a 20% off coupon, and I, I don't think I paid more than 15 US dollars for it, which was a bargain. Anyway, so that's how it goes in, and then if you want to pound it on, or you could press it, whatever floats your boat. I haven't decided what I'm going to do, if I'm going to use the old <clears throat> thumb detector and do it that way, or if I'm going to torture myself some more and use the press. Alright, we're back and this is out of the oven. It's about 180 degrees a little on the warm side. So let's get these pressed in while it's still hot. So let's do this one first. And Not real straight. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to resort to something a little bit more substantial. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Is it in yet? Worst words a woman ever could say to a man. Yeah, it's in. All right, so that side's done. Flip it over. Oh shit, that's hot. Fuck me. Ah. All right, clamp, clamp, clamp. Alright, let's get this in. Alright. Bam! Just like that. And, yep, there's that. Alright, this has a little lip on it. A little lip. So can, yikes. Ow, son of a... Wow, that's hot. go and we're not 
not doing this one. We're doing this one, and I better put the tool on right. <clears throat> I think the tool is smarter than the tool operator at this stage of the game. twist and just kind of set that in there try to get it in as straight as possible in. Now this one. <clears throat> You'd think I'd learn by now, but you know, hey, a little swap a -roo with the old tool a -roo. And did it, almost did it again. Almost put it in backwards. So now, it's kind of propped up because there isn't really a good clamping surface on this one. So let's put the race in like that. I think I'd learn. This thing is still hot. Alright, so there you have it. There's one race. There's the other one. Hey, welcome to Jack Monster. Today we are going to get lubed, man. We are going to lube the carrier bearings. Actually, these are the wheel bearings. Carrier bearings. And I'm going to show you a couple ways of doing it using a uh, a tool, which this thing is awesome, especially when you're dealing with big bearings, because that's a whole lot of hand action going on, and you get sore after a while. So, anyway, we're going to start with this, and it's, I got this off of Amazon, I'll have a link down in the, below me, <laughs> underneath me, um, Anyway, so I'm going to show you how this works. It's a cone shape, and basically what, what happens is you pump grease through here, and it extrudes out through your bearings. And this is always kind of a mind bender for me, because I can never figure out which way this actually goes. And it goes <clears throat> on a conical. You want the tapered side to go this way. And then you just take this and you screw it on. Um, you gotta give yourself a little bit more room. So just kind of spin that up. And put your bearing in. And put your cone in. So So it's kind of in there like, like that. And then we just start pumping some grease into it. Like this. I sure hope I have enough grease in the grease gun. That would really suck if I don't. And then you just kind of check to see if it's if it's actually coming out, not yet. Um, st 
still not quite, almost. Starting to. Oh, heard a little fart sound. That's a good sound. That means the grease is starting to work its way through the bearing. Still not yet. Alright, so success. It's actually worked its way out through the through the bearings. So we've got grease behind the bearings. And so I'm gonna take this off. Got a big wad of grease, I'm gonna use this. grease these. Now, what not to do? That, this is not greasing. That doesn't do it. No. You gotta actually get the grease in the crack. So what you do, is take a little bit like this, kind of get in the palm of your hand, and then you just kind of work it in until it starts poking out the top. See how it's, you can kind of see the grease poking out through the top? Well, that's how you do it. And you just keep rotating it until it comes through the top. Now, seeing how quickly this works with a little bearing, you can only imagine how long it's going to take with a big one. So that's why I cheated and used the tool on the big bearing. So then you just kind of take that and just kind of rotate it and work it in. grease all the way in like that okay that one's packed now let's take a look at this one all right so we've got all the grease that's come through the back well for the most part so then What I do is I just kind of help it along. You know, we've got a little bit of extra grease there, so I'll just kind of, you know, put it in the crack and just kind of work it through. Just kind of help push it through. So any place else? No, nope, that looks good. And then if, after you've got grease on the inside all the way around, then you can just kind of put a light coating because most of that's going to squish out when you go to <clears throat> get a load on these. I'm afraid that's all we have time for in this video. In part two of assembling the carrier, Mark shows off his bits, Mark installs the bearing crooked, Mark demonstrates another victory out of frame, Mark sticks his rod in a hole.